everybody, welcome back to another session of The Hoppery. My name is Mark Starr, and tonight I got my buddy Tim back on the show. How's it going, Tim? Fantastic, man. How are you? Good, good. So, um, the reason why I wanted to get together with Tim is that we're both really big fans of Saison's, and this week I really thought I'd focus uh, solely on Saison's. So, um, you know, we've done the Hop Focus, we've done the Raspberry Focus, uh, we, I, last week I did the Dadala Brewery Focus, so uh, this week we're just going to be focusing on Saison's, and I think I've got three really good Saison's picked out for us, and uh, what do you think? You, you interested in doing some Saison's with me this week? I'd say the lineup for the week looks pretty good. Um, yep. It should have some, uh, so hopefully some good barnyard fun for us to carry us through the week. I hope. I hope. So the first one that we're going to look at this week uh, is the, it's from a brewery in Florida. In fact, uh, they're from Tarpon Springs, Florida. Um, I know we both kind of did a little bit of research on them today. Come to find out, they do a very, very small um, number of these beers, but yet they're still in 18 states. So yeah, it looks like they're brewing out of a garage with a garage door in the front. Yeah. Um, pretty impressive when you see uh, the stuff that they're putting out with the size of their equipment. It, it yeah. kind of makes me jealous, but you know, uh, yeah. hey. But, you know, so anyway, we're going to start with that. This one's called their uh, Athene, the Saison Athene. It's from uh, St. Somewhere, again, out of Florida. Um, and then on Wednesday, uh, we're going to be doing, what is it we're doing on Wednesday? We will be doing the... Le Bon Vu? Yeah, the DuPont Le Bon Vu, the Avec Le Bon Vu, sorry. And then on Friday, uh, we'll finish it up with the... Uh, the Phantom Saison, which man, I've been wanting to try that yeah. one for a really, really long time. So, and you're probably going to notice we're going to wear the same thing all week. That's because we're going to try to knock all of these out tonight and not get too hammered. But uh, with that said, let's uh, have at it. Let's get into it. So, looks like a Saison to me. It's a great color. Yeah, it's really nice. clear. Straw. Pale orange color. It's great looking. Tons of bubbles in mine. Yeah. Lots yeah. of effervescence. A lot of it. And the head really kind of reminds me, you know, of, of something that you would get from Belgium. Like, you know, uh, last week when I did the uh, the Dolatev, looked a lot like this. You know, obviously more hazy, but just, you know, miles and miles of that soapy head. And I can already tell. We poured it a little bit before we started just to kind of help open it up. But I can already tell we're going to get some pretty good lacing on the glass. That's it. Yeah. I can't let's, smell it. Let's smell it. <laughs> That's the best part. One of the best parts. Ooh. All right. What do you think? It's definitely a saison. Yeah. I'm kind of. There's a little bit of lemon peel, but I'm more overtaken by some undertone spice. Yeah. Um, I get the spice. Definitely um, some almost bready funkiness coming out of there. It, you know, this really reminds me of the Boulevard Saison Brett. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's definitely got that kind of, you know, slightly funky lemon meringue pie mm. sort of smell. You know, the citrus that I'm getting out of it is, is mainly lemon. Mm. Um, but definitely getting a lot of spiciness out of there. I know, I, I believe that they brew this with black peppercorn. So I can kind of tell that there is... Um, you know, that, that little bit of spiciness, but, um, yeah, but I mean, you know, again, um, really nice color head. I mean, if, it's I really think, not overly barnyard on the nose, which is a little no, bit of a surprise to me, which yeah. frankly is kind of nice. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. I definitely get that pepper, you know, that, that black pepper on there. It's not like blasting me in the face. Um, and even if I hadn't read, you know, that they brew it with pepper, that, you know, I, I think I still would be able to, to really pick that up. It's like the spiciness of the pepper mm -hmm. more than it really is the flavor of like pepper. But, and as it kind of carries through my nose, this is going to, it might make sense to some of you, but it may, you know, just completely knock them out. Yeah, it really has a little bit of an incense character on kind of the way it carries through with its, uh, with its, you know, with its finish. It, it, and frankly, I have one in mind. It's an, it's an Ag Champa, and it almost has a very uh, earthy kind yeah. of character to it. Mm -hmm. And it's after I mean, it's great. It finishes good. It lingers on the finish, but it's it's not heavy. It's not too tart. It, it really is quite balanced for yeah. a, 
for a you know a good size on a very small batch size on they're doing good stuff yeah and I, and I like how it's dry but it's not like bone dry you know you drink something like an Orval um, which I know there's there are some differences in that beer and this beer but I mean in my head you know they're both they're both golden color they both have that Belgian quality you know this I, I'm not saying that this really reminds me of Orval but but like when you drink an Orval, that thing is so dry that you mm -hmm. almost feel like you need to drink water after every um, sip. This is dry, but there's enough sweetness in it that I, I think it really kind of keeps it very well balanced. But as, as it warms a little, that black pepper is really yeah. starting to come through. Almost, you know, kind of, kind of the same uh, aroma or, um, you know, uh, fragrance you would get off of just freshly cracked black pepper. It's not, it's not overwhelming. It's not going to, you know kill you with spice, but it's right. just that very um, kind of underlying pungent pepper yeah. aroma. No, I agree. Yeah. I really, and, and I really like the citrus in this too. Like, you know, you know, the, the whole idea behind Saison's was that, you know, or farmhouse ales as they are often uh, referred to as well, is that, you know, they used to brew these in the winter months and so they would, you know, ferment for a while and by the time they were uh, ready to be um, uh, enjoyed by farmers who have been out working, you know, it'd be summertime and so they wanted something really refreshing. And while, you know, you think of refresh, you don't think of this much flavor as being refreshing, but I actually think it's quite refreshing. It really is. But with a ton of flavor. Yeah, so. absolutely. I could work in the fields all day if they pay me in this. Yeah, it's, no it's pretty good stuff. So, well guys, we're going to go ahead and sit here and uh, I guess kind of finish off the rest of this bottle and um, Maybe come back for another couple of sessions tonight, and we'll share with those. I'll share those with you throughout the week. You know, as you guys know, I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, uh, anyway, we will come back and we'll do the uh, Dupont avec Le Bon, Le bon Vu. Vu. Yeah, we're, we're Americans. We're not very good at French. We will butcher anything yeah. that we can. Yeah, <laughs> I got a little bit of you know street abonics in me, but that's about the only other language I know. So, yeah. all right, guys. Well. Tim, good to have you along and uh, look forward to doing the rest of these sessions and uh, hope you guys will come, uh, continue to come back and watch and uh, we'll see you later. Cheers. Cheers.